Well, it's time though yeah. for today's face off and the return of the vast right wing conspiracy. That's right. You heard him. Former President Clinton says the right wing that attacked him during his time in office is still around and just as mean. Here's what then First Lady Hillary Clinton first said about the vast right wing conspiracy in 1998. The great story here for anybody willing to find it and write about it and explain it is this vast right wing conspiracy that has been conspiring against my husband since the day he announced for president. And here's what the former president told David Gregory on NBC's Meet the Press just yesterday. Your wife famously talked about the vast right wing conspiracy targeting you. As you look at this opposition on the right to President Obama, is it still there? Oh, you bet. Sure it is. It's not as strong as it was because America has changed demographically, but it's as virulent as it was. Is the former president on target, or is it too easy to just blame a faceless conspiracy? Well, here to face off are nationally syndicated radio host Bill Press and MSNBC political analyst Joe Watkins. All right, Joe, I'll start with you. Are you part of this conspiracy? He's, he's the leader of it, Nora. He's the leader of it. That's you right. Lie. There you go. You just you you, lie, Bill. You caught me. Here I am. Here I am. Well, you know, you know uh, I, I worked in the White House and uh, for a, an American president, for George H.W. Bush, and almost every single day, if not every single day that I went to the White House to work, uh, there were people protesting some segment of the president's policies, even policies that I wasn't aware of. And, and, and it just comes with the territory. There are going to be people, no matter who you are as president of the United States, who are going to criticize, who are not going to agree with your policies. And, and these policy disagreements right now are, are, are based on... But Joe, true were there people disagreement who, with direction. who challenged whether um, uh, either of the Bush presidents were actually American citizens, legitimate um, people who could hold the office of the presidency? Well, there, there are going to be people who, uh, whoever the president is, that will challenge on any host of issues. It just depends on what the issues in question are. There are people, obviously, who have questioned uh, President Obama's uh, uh, birth certificate. Uh, there are people who question President Bush on a whole host of issues. Uh, president Bush, both Father Bush and Son Bush, uh, didn't take it personally. They realized that it came with the territory, that as the president of the United States, the well, buck stops with you, and that you just have to be prepared to deal I mean, with Bill, the criticism. Bill, yeah. as we talk about a potential vast right-wing conspiracy, just want to play for you what Rush Limbaugh had to say today about what Bill Clinton told David Gregory. Listen very carefully. Right. Okay. There are lots of people who are opening up their eyes that this is not what I voted for. So they can't force their weak ideas on us. What do they do? They blame it on the evil and vast right-wing conspiracy. When the polling gets bad and state-controlled media start to catch on to their lies and misdeeds, and it's time to blame it all on the evil and vast right-wing conspiracy. Bill, respond to that. Well, first of all, I would say that, as usual, Rush Limbaugh does not know what the hell he's talking about. Look, when I hear people say, this is not what we voted for, Laura, and Nora, they're from the left, not from the right. They're people who say, we didn't vote for another war in Afghanistan, or we didn't vote for a health care reform that doesn't have a public plan option in it. I wanna, here's the problem, I think, with what former President Clinton said. He got one word wrong, vast. There used to be a vast right-wing conspiracy. Today, I would say at best, it's a mini right-wing conspiracy. It's not as vast. It's not as effective. President Obama's problem is the vast left-wing conspiracy. The Democrats, in Congress particularly, uh, in the Senate and in the House, who are fighting his health care reform. He doesn't need the Republicans. Well said, Bill Press. I mean, well seriously, he doesn't, well need, doesn't need the Republicans. He could have his bill on his desk right now if he could get the Democrats to go along with him. So I don't think you can just blame it all on John Boehner and Mitch McConnell. They're the least effective leaders I think we've ever had in the Congress. But, Bill, I want to talk quickly about the messenger and the message. I, we often marvel mm -hmm. at what a great politician Bill Clinton is, that he doesn't say a word without knowing that oh, right. it will have flare back and flare ups. What do you think was the point, though, of him <laughs> answering that question in that way? 
<laughs> well, look. Well, of course. I, I'm sorry. I think it was. It's, I, look, you can are, both answer it. Bill, uh, you start off. Go ahead. All right. Okay. I was just going to say, it's always. It, you're right. He is so careful. He knows every word that he says. Are but it's nor it's always easy to blame you know the other side rather than to blame your own Democrats. I'm just trying to be honest here. Uh, I've watched this process. I've been part of this process for the last nine months. Barack Obama's fight has not been from the do-nothing Republicans. It's been from the Democrats who uh, I think some of them are Democrats in name only. And Joe, what do you think? What's the motive here? Uh, uh, I think the motive, of course, is to try to demonize uh, people who don't agree with the president. And, uh, you know, you've seen uh, the rally that was held just a few weeks ago in Washington, D.C. And not only Republicans were there, but there were independents and Democrats as well, people who are not pleased with the policies. They disagree strongly with the president on the direction that he may be taking on a whole host of policies, including health care. And, uh, and Bill Press has it right. I mean, if, if there is a vast right-wing conspiracy, then there are a whole lot of Democrats that are part of it, because <laughs> no. there are lots of people right That's now, strange. especially on the Democrat side, who do not agree with President Obama. Whatever, right, so I Dad. just have to say, Silence. Hey, yeah. what, whatever, whatever right-wing conspiracy exists right now, it's not a real threat, I don't believe, to President Obama. Hey, there are 85 votes down in the House. You know, yeah. it can't get anything done. Bill Press, you make a very interesting point. Uh, Joe Watkins, the leader of the conspiracy. <laughs> You're good to join us. Reveal yourself. All right, all right. Thanks, yeah. Thanks to both of you.